Hi, my name is Lynn and I post about my life and my interests. And one of my many interests is purchasing beauty and skincare related products. So I have a lot, you can't really see it, but there's a lot of different stuff in front of me. <laughs> um, let's see, I don't really know where I wanna start. I think I'm gonna start from right to left and just go from there. So you probably have seen this. Um, it's just like the Aussie, um, kangaroo shampoo and I remember that this shampoo smelled really good and personally um, I don't know if this is gross but I don't like to wash my hair every day <laughs> so I wanted something more fragrant and something that would last a long time um, in between washes and this did smell really good but honestly not as good as I remember the pros I would say would be that it smelled good. Um, it made me remember middle school <laughs> and it was affordable. Cons for me would be that it gave me, it gave me, it gave me dandruff. Um, and I now know that it's because it has avocado and, uh, how do you say that? jojoba oil. I think with oil in it is gonna feed whatever little creature or bacteria it is on my scalp um, that makes dandruff. Um, so this is a no for me. So I purchased this a while ago as you can see it's kind of a little bit empty but um, it's the got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel and honestly I love this stuff. Um, it says it's non-flaking, but it does, honestly, it makes a little bit of flaking if you are scratching a lot. Um, <clears throat> but honestly, if you're like leaving it alone, not scratching it, not like sweating too much or whatever, um, there's not much flaking. But I think that the hold on this is really good. I have used it to style like my little baby hairs. I've used it to like slick my hair back. It works really good with... Um, like if you kind of moisten it with water a little bit, you can give yourself like more of a wet look. I love this stuff. The way I use it, like I said, was to do my baby hairs is I just use this old toothbrush and kind of just like do that. And I love this stuff. I recommend this stuff. It, I feel like there's a lot of hype around it in like the wig community. Um, at least like the spray version of this, the stuff's gold. So. Carol's Daughter. <laughs> so this product right here. It is called Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. Um, it's a water to foam shampoo with aloe. This is kind of like an okay product for me personally. Um, I understand that it's probably made for people with curly hair. Um, but honestly, like I really loved this stuff when I first started using it. Um, it's fun. You know it's just like watery and then it turns into foam and you lather it and it's it's really nice it's a good like feeling on your scalp but for some reason I just found this to be very drying um, it is very gentle though so I feel like this could be something that you would use every once in a while or if you had like oily hair but I don't have that problem I tend to more have like dry scalp um, mostly because I have dandruff <laughs> But yeah, this is an okay product. These products, they are the Miracle Moisture Boost Sulfate Free Shampoo um, by Pantene. I personally, pros would say it smells good and it's sulfate free. Other than that, I would say that this is like not something that I would necessarily recommend. This is kind of like an eh for me. It made my hair feel like really stiff and waxy, um, which I wasn't a fan of that. This is really dirty, sorry. <laughs> this product is called um, A Thousand Roses Body Lotion um, by Andalau Naturals, but it has antioxidants, rosehip, argan oil, shea, and cocoa butter, um, ultra hiding, ultra hydrating aloe vera um personally i use this product on my legs because it's very thick i use it 
I tend to use it after I shave or if like my elbows are really um, dry. I don't like to use it on my face because I feel like it makes me feel, it makes me really oily. Um, I want to show you the consistency too. So I feel like it's very thick, like almost like a sunblock. Um, here, let me show you how it spreads. It goes on like somewhat, somewhat watery, but it's like oily. So it leaves kind of like a greasy feeling. So that's kind of why I just use it on my legs um because i don't personally like to be oily i don't know if you can see that but like a little bit glistening with oil there but it smells really good so that's a pro i think it was a little bit more expensive than i remember but i just like stuff that's very fragrant this product is something that i use on a daily it's um cerave daily moisturizing lotion um, it does have three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. It, said is, it says that it's lightweight, and I feel like that's pretty true. Honestly, I feel like it might be a little too lightweight. So that is kind of like the consistency of it. You can see like it's pretty lightweight because it's already sliding off my skin. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty moisturizing without making it feel like greasy. Um, but yeah, I use that every day. Um, after I wash my face. I do tend to have like patchy dry skin around my nose and like mouth. So I feel like this was, this really helped. Um, so that's a pro. One thing that I didn't like about this is like, it kind of is expensive, but 12 ounces has lasted me a long time for using it every day. This product, I've had this for a long time <laughs> and it's only four ounces, but it's really thick. Um, I started using it a lot more frequently just because I started working outside. Um, personally, I think that it's a pro that it doesn't have a scent because I feel like it's kind of when you're putting on your face, it shouldn't be scented, if that makes any sense. Um, but it is just like SPF 15. Um, I don't think it makes, I don't think it's very greasy but you could definitely feel it when you put it on your skin like you could feel it sitting there um but yeah it does its job it's it's just sunscreen i have another olay product this was actually gifted to me by my mom um it's a collagen peptide hydrating moisturizer i've used about half of it i just I think there was something off-putting about it that I didn't like. Oh, I think it's just because like when I put it on, it would make my face kind of tingle. This is one of those products where I'm just like on the fence about because honestly, I don't remember like much about it. So that kind of tells me that it's not like a product that I would go to again. If that makes any sense. This product is the next product. And it is the Brightening Honey Melt Facial Cleanser by Kiwi Botanicals. I loved this stuff when I first started using it, but I think I was using it too frequently and then like forgot that I had it. Um, but the way it works is like, it's almost like a really thick soap or like really thick facial cleanser that you put on your skin and then it kind of lathers, which is really fun. But one thing that I noticed again was that it was drying out my skin um but i think it's supposed to brighten your 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 skin um honestly i feel like it did make my skin feel tighter if that makes any sense but i don't know this one is okay i also like the little kiwi it's very cute okay so I have a bunch of face masks because I was going through like I just wanted to have face masks every day for some reason <laughs> so let's see so I have a few these ones are unopened um, but 
I used one of their other like peel off masks and it did what it was supposed to it was a mask but honestly I just like obviously haven't used these for several months so personally for me it's just like a eh so these three are from the Dollar Tree and I just like sheet masks I prefer sheet masks over anything that I have to just like wash off and this one I use like when I feel like my skin is very dull and the thing I like about it is that it comes in a two pack um so yeah I use this I think I didn't like the smell of it but you know it did its job and then this one I used one time after like I felt like I got sunburnt and it prevented me from getting sunburnt it's just like the aloe vera it's an aloe vera sheet mask and I I like this because I feel like it actually um, does what aloe is supposed to, which is heal um, your skin. So again, I got this from Dollar Tree and it came in a two pack. And then I got a whole bunch of these. Um, I feel like they help when my skin is dull or if it feels like, I guess saggy, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I bought these, but these are, there's only one in each, but you know, they're a dollar, so. I personally like this product as well. Dollar Tree has a lot of good little, it depends on what it is, I guess. So this is also from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just Pond's Pure Detox Facial Foam. And I like this just because it is foamy and I feel like it does cleanse your pores. Um, and you know, I just use it every once in a while whenever I have it or if I'm feeling like there's a lot of um, dirt stuck in my pores, if that makes any sense. But I just really like stuff that has charcoal, which this has charcoal, and um, stuff that foams. So for a dollar, I would recommend this. I got this at Grocery Outlet, um, which is a weird place to get like skincare stuff. But I feel like they have a lot of cool stuff there. Um, it's just a Pierce Freeman's Pro Probiotic Skin Care. Um, it's just like a purifying clay mask. Um, I use it when I feel like I need to like get stuff out of my pores. Um, or if I just want to treat myself to like feeling like I'm at the spa. Um, Personally, sometimes this stuff does burn. Not quite sure why, um, but like as it's drying, it kind of burns. Um, but yeah, I feel like it helps like exfoliate my skin and take out any stuff that's going on inside. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one to anyone with sensitive skin just because of that burning sensation that I felt, but this is nice and it lasts for a long time um, if you're not using it, if you're just using it the way that I'm using it. This product is um, a Bath and Body Works product. It's called Pure Wonder and it's a body lotion. Um, bath and... Whoa, there was like air that came out. <laughs> I personally like the smell of this. My sister actually gifted it to me because I think she's not like a big fan of like I don't think she's a big fan of fragrant things whereas I love things that smell very strongly um but yeah this is it's really like you can really tell there's shea in there it's very moisturizing almost it kind of feels not sticky I would say but like it kind of reminds me of like a spray from the 90s that is called cotton candy I don't know how else to describe the smell <laughs> I have a few of these sprays by good chemistry and personally I love these little sprays they have them at Target um, I've seen them at both CVS and Rite Aid um, but usually they're around ten dollars. They're just like body sprays and Even though they're only ten dollars, they don't smell cheap. Just they use um, Essential oils, um, which I like because 
if I want more of like a subtle smell, I can just dilute it a little bit more with water and shake it up and it doesn't really like affect the smell or the consistency of the spray, if that makes any sense. But this one is called Jasmine Rose. And like I said, it's by Good Chemistry. Um, I have a few other ones, but I don't remember the names of them. But they last kind of a long time for only being four ounces. Um, I personally love this stuff and I, um, I just love it. <laughs> I don't know. I think the packaging is cute, which, and it's very portable. You can take it anywhere with you. It could fit in most bags. Um, I don't know. I don't know how else to sell you on this stuff, but it's good. I like it. They also make perfumes, but I don't know how good those smell. But this product by The Ordinary, um, and it's lactic acid, 10% with, um, hyaluron <laughs> hyaluronic acid. I personally forget to put this stuff on because it's recommended that you put it on at nighttime. And most of the time I'm just tired by the time it's time to put this on. Um, but I don't know, I feel like I haven't used it long enough um, consistently to give it an accurate, like my own little review of it. <laughs> But I think it's cute and it's affordable, but I heard that The Ordinary has gone out of business. Not no, I don't know if that's true. But yeah, that's this product. I'm trying to find a way to hold stuff that doesn't look like an awkward crab hand, <laughs> but it's kind of hard. Um, let's see. This, would this be a good way? Hold on. Like this. Is that less of an awkward? Nope, this part's still an awkward crab hand. Oh! <laughs> No, I like this. Okay, that's not bad. Like if I bend my fingers like this, I don't know. Still looks awkward. So this product is Seed and Clay Probiotics Technology Vitamin C Brightening Skin Serum. So I exclusively use this product um, with my gua sha. I got this from the dollar store and it has dog hair on it. <laughs> I got my gua sha from the dollar store, which like, it's a stone, you know? It, it works, it's the shape of a gua sha. Um, but I use it with this, with this serum because it's really slippery and it helps to not create too much friction when I use my gua sha. Um, I don't use the gua sha very frequently, only when I remember or if like my face hurts. Um, but yeah, this is what I use for that. I also got this at grocery outlet. Um, this two ounces has lasted a long time, I feel. Um, and it comes with this cool little pump and it's very, um, Honestly, I feel like it aerates it a lot because you get bubbles. It just kind of looks like somebody spit on my hand. <laughs> but if you can see in the in the camera, it's very like silky. It almost reminds me of like snail mucin. But yeah. So I just put it on my skin. Like I just I kind of just put a lot, honestly, I just, oh, I do that to where like I'm really, really shiny and then where did I put my gua sha? What the hell? Oh, then I just take this and I, you know, I start from the bottom and I do like, oops, I didn't put any on my neck. I do my neck just because like I have a double chin <laughs> and I feel like this helps oh my god that feels so good uh, I just kind of like go and do do what feels comfortable for my face I like doing this part oh yeah um but yeah just a mini demonstration 
I was watching some of my old videos and I just couldn't help but like think that my skin was very like glowy and dewy and I was wondering like why does my skin look like this now and um not glowy and dewy like it used to <laughs> um but then I remembered I used to use like religiously use this vitamin E lotion so I went to um, my local store to go and get that vitamin E lotion except I couldn't find the exact brand um but yeah this I bought this today <laughs> it's just vitamin E lotion and honestly I feel like this helps your skin to be like very bright this particular brand is enriched with avocado oil almond oil and aloe vera um but I'm gonna start using this every day like I would I used to use vitamin E lotion and see if it makes a difference um but this one it stinks it kind of smells like an old person I don't know if that's me but <laughs> it just smells like how an old lady would smell um but yeah I feel like it is very hydrating so far I'm I, I used some of it earlier um yeah I love this stuff and it's not too expensive I think it's like six bucks for a jar like this um another thing that I bought today was this um I've been looking all over the place for um, a lotion with snail extract in it or like snail mucin in it. This one, I like how it smells. Actually, I don't like how it smells in the jar, but I like how it smells on my skin. <laughs> Not quite sure how I feel about it yet because I used a different brand before, but I will keep using it and see if I do like it. So I can't really recommend it yet, but the old one that I used to use came in like a little brown jar and it was really small and that one smelled pretty good and it always worked really well too. Okay. <clears throat> so this product I got from I think you can get this brand anywhere, Skin Fit, yeah. But it's it's the Coconut Delight um, Moisturizing Shave Gel. I like using shave like gel shave gel shaving cream um, because I like how it lathers and it moisturizes at the same time. Um, this one has lasted me a while, but it also has vitamin E and coconut water in it. Um, yeah, I love this stuff. It's not too expensive either. Um, and then usually after I shave, I use this product. Um, so it is Freeman's Feeling, Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Cactus and Cloudberry Water Gel Mask. Um, this is like for your face, but I don't use it on my face just because it's really fragrant. Um, but it's a leave-on mask, but it's like more of like a watery It's like it turns in it's a gel that turns into like a very Very watery substance, I guess or like thin light substance um, But I like to use this for my legs because it kind of smells like it smells like it Smells like peach gummies peach gummy rings. So I like using this to hydrate after I shave my legs and it just like smells so good. I really love this stuff. Um, I think I got this at Rite Aid too. <laughs> um, other things that I got today were, um, I got this Herbal Essences conditioner, um, the revitalizing conditioner. Um, It smells good. It just kind of reminds me of my childhood, honestly, um, because I just like that smell. And Herbal Essences is like, is a pretty affordable brand. Um, and another thing that I like about this is that, from what I can tell, it doesn't have any oil in it, so it's not gonna like add to my dandruff problem. 
um, and it smells really good and it's still fragrant after my hair is drying so after my hair has dried so I'm a fan of this so far but it's a little bit too early to tell if I should recommend it or not um, but definitely smells good and then the other thing that I got today was this um, body wash because it smells like peaches and I don't know I just like that smell right now <laughs> personally I feel like they could have made it a little bit more rich to where it would lather more um, because this kind of just it, it feels like soapy if, if that makes any sense um, but it smells really good so that's nice before that I was using um, I was using this product which is the simply nourish it, which is the method body um, body wash I feel like this smells hella good like it smells like it smells like a coconut latte and it smells just so good like I, I want to eat this stuff but I know I'm not supposed to um, but yeah I really like this brand of body wash and I've also used their rose peony peony um body wash and it's cruelty free there's a lot just like i really like this brand um and their packaging is very simple um and it's 18 ounces so it's gonna last you a while um i actually there is also like a method body men um and they come in like more masculine scents um but I love this brand. I definitely would recommend this. Um, the like body wash itself lathers really well, and it is like lightly. It's very like the fragrance is strong, but it's not overpowering. The fragrance is strong, but it's not overpowering. So like this is personally like one of my favorite products that I've purchased um, recently. Um, this is this honestly like. This is one of those products that I look for a lot if um, I'm looking for like a specific body wash. I feel like, like, and I don't want to like, this is like my go-to body wash brand, honestly, because I just like, I love, I love this body wash. This product is awesome. I would definitely would recommend it. You can also find it almost anywhere. Like I found it at, um, I found it at like drugstores, so like Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens. I've also found it at Target. I found it at um, Safeway. Like a lot of grocery stores carry this. Um, Save Mart. Yeah, this is a good product. I love this stuff. I feel like I've talked so much that I'm losing my voice. I didn't realize like that I had this much stuff in like this small amount of space. I hope you guys found this video entertaining. Um, please, if you watched this far, can you comment below, like, videos that you might want to watch or, you know, just, just interact with me because I am trying to grow my channel and trying to become, like, a better creator and be more consistent. Thanks for watching. I love this stuff.